and welcome to another Planetary Structure Generator video tutorial. Today is regarding Chapter 10 of the PSG Handbook. I'm Sara Faggi, member of the PSG team, and in this video we will explore together how to perform a remote operation with PSG. We will talk about the API, the Online Flexible Application Program Interface, and about the Docker Virtualization System. After preparing the configuration file for your simulation, and you can learn about this in Chapter 1, an API call simply operates by sending the configuration file to the PSG servers. This communication with the server is performed via the Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, HTTPS, and this is implemented via the curl terminal command. Upon receiving the configuration file, PSG will then compute the spectra and return back the results in text file formatted as multi-column table with a header defined by the pound symbol. More information related to the output of PSG can be found in Chapter 1. The great value of an API call is that you don't need to install and update any radiative transfer module or database on your computer and you will be running simulation on high-performance NASA servers. Let's now have a look at few commands to run an API. After creating and modifying your configuration file, using any preferred text editor, for example, gedit, Python, etc., and by using any scripting and programming languages, for example, C, Fortran, IDL, Python, just open a terminal window and type the curl command as appearing here on the screen. In this example, the configuration file is called config.txt, but the user can choose any preferred name. By default, the API will run all PSG module and will return the total radiance spectra, the RAD file. However, it is possible to select and run only specific module and requesting for different type of spectral output and operation. This is achieved by providing several keywords. Let's see some of them together. If you type, for example, the keyword type, then you can select between multiple outputs. For example, type equal TRN, PSG will return the planetary transmittances. If you type instead type equal STR, PSG will return stellar transmittance spectrum. This file is computed by the module continue, and more information about the PSG modules and their interoperability can be found in Chapter 1. The keyword WHDR um, allows to enable or disable the header information, and by default this keyword is yes. The user can also update many other parameters. For instance, by using the keyword WFM, it is possible to compute ephemeris, or by using the keyword WATM, it is possible to update atmospheric parameters. I suggest you to check the chapter 10 of the PSG handbook for a complete list of outputs and keywords. And what would you say if I tell you that you can install and run a local version of PSG in your own personal computer? Well, if you think that this is great, let's then introduce together the Docker Virtualization System. PSG is a complex suite of spectroscopic models and databases, and it is coordinated by a general relative transfer scheme. So installing the whole PSG suite on your personal computer can be a daunting process, and it will entail a great amount of resources, memory, and time. However, by employing the Docker, the user can easily install a pre-configured virtual machine with PSG that provides web API access as the normal PSG online suite. The PSG Docker can run in any personal computer, Mac, Linux, or Windows. The Docker container wraps up the software and all its dependencies into a standardized package that includes everything it needs to be run. And this guarantees that PSG always runs the same. PSG Personal Suite is organized in packages. 
By default, it comes with the programs and base packages. Yet, you can install many additional packages, expanding the capabilities of your local version. Importantly, the local PSG site also keeps track of any updates of these packages relative to the current PSG online suite, and it will inform you if you are required to update any of these packages. Let's now have a look at how and how to install and run the PSG Docker. First of all, you need to download and install the Docker application in your computer. And this is relatively easy and it will establish the virtual system in which PSG will run. Then open a terminal window and from the command line uh, enter the following commands. Docker logout docker pull nasa psg slash psg docker tag nasa psg slash psg space psg this will pull the psg container from the docker hub repository to run psg and enable the api interface type the command as here appearing in the screen now your psg personal suite is ready and you can visit your local site of PSG by opening your browser and typing http colon slash slash localhost colon 3000. This will open your PSG personal suite. Explore the packages and install and remove and update what you need um, for your simulation. Now, to run an API on your local version of PSG, you can again use the curve command but now entering the following command as appearing here below. I hope you found this short video instructive. On behalf of the PSG team, I encourage you to explore the handbook for more details on how to operate the API, how to install the Docker, and how to learn about the recent development um, to set up and operate PSG on a cluster. For more information, you can also always reach to any of us by email we will be glad to help with any questions. With this, I thank you for your attention and I will see you in another video tutorial exploring PSG.